Well, we're still at the Color Country Model Railroad Club Open House in St. George, Utah. Right, we're driving through some of the most picturesque countryside I've ever seen. This is the west end of, uh, of St. George, and this is Red Mountain. Right. And Santa Clara and Ivan's. Right, beautiful area. Oh boy, hard to pick, but this I think would be my favorite part of town. <laughs> right. Anyway, today's railroad is the railroad of Jim Harper, and he's out in this part of town in Santa Clara. Jim's railroad depicts the Sacramento area, and it's the junction between the Sacramento Northern and the Southern Pacific. Oh. Which also includes part of Donner Pass. Oh my goodness. Which is really amazing. This is the Sacramento Northern down here, the Electrified Railroad. That's, gee, I don't know, it's hard to pick a, again a favorite of any of these things, but I actually think this is my favorite part of the railroad, the Sacramento Northern. Well, it is amazing. It's totally amazing. Anytime you see overhead cantonary and wiring like this, just mind-boggling. And these electric locomotives that he's uh, built for down here have actual traction motors and the correct number of traction motors. Oh one, one per axle. <laughs> that small. That small, yeah, because all of this is O scale. Mm -hmm. Now, while the railroad is an O-scale railroad, it is not an O-gauge railroad. Really? Yeah, it's a Proto 48. So, uh, we've been doing the, that series on scales and gauges on Tuesday. And a week from this Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Proto 48. The scale is 148 scale, one quarter inch to the foot. However, the standard gauge here is correct four feet eight and one half inches. Oh my goodness. So it's a very, very oddball uh, gauge. It's just barely off of what you would normally think of as O gauge, but look at the quality of the track work. Right, I'm noticing every tie has a spike in it, for real. I mean, it's and, a real spike. And, and a tie plate. Yes. And, and here at the point, look at this. Oh. Point slide braces. Oh my. Every little detail, every nut, bolt, and washer, you name it, it's all here. And the switch stands light up. Oh, they do. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wow. We decided on Proto 48. 48 to the foot, and it's prototypical. In my own case, if I was going to build a highly detailed a locomotive, it was not my desire to put out a scale, out of gauge wheels on it. I'm going to go with a full scale wheels and a track gauge. And so it isn't just the gauge of the track that's different. The wheels, uh, the profile of the wheels and flanges and everything is also prototype. Oh. And you just, you just notice it. It's like you're not really aware of how out of scale O gauge, O scale trains are until you see one that's correctly built with the right wheel profiles. Right, I'm just noticing the detail. Uh, everything about these locomotives is absolutely perfectly accurate. Right. It's some of the most mind-boggling brass building ever. It's all from about a 1950s era. Right. So we have a mixture of very early diesels and later steam engines. Look at this icing platform. That is just amazing. So it isn't just the trains that are highly detailed. The entire railroad is highly detailed. Well, I love the rock work and the mountains and the rivers. Look at how, I'm just blown away. It's, a, it's an absolutely beautiful model railroad. It's perfect. There's always a big crowd uh, during the open house. Oh, there is. I get in there and get stuck. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. You kind of have to take a number of weight practically to get back into the railroad. But 
who wouldn't want to come see this during the open house? Oh, no kidding. So it's always one of the most popular railroads whenever they, they have the open house, which is every year. I exactly, yes. Now, as we all know, I'm not that much of a fan of diesel, mm -mm. but I'll make an exception for these first generation diesels. Right. Just because this particular era, this uh, post-war era, is just such a spectacular era to model. Right, and they're still using the caboose, which I happen to find very attractive. <laughs> yeah, one of the reasons I'm not that keen on modern railroading is because they don't have a caboose. They don't have a caboose, and it's like, what? Was that the end of the train? <laughs> and they don't have trolleys and traction, no. not like this. No. And so this era, I, it's, it's understandable why so many people love modeling this era. Yes. Now, notice the people. Mm-hmm. It's... What good is a railroad without people? Oh, you have to have figures. They bring it to life. Exactly. They, they give it interest because people are interesting. Trains are fun, but people are interesting. Well, they may, one makes the other go. <laughs> <laughs> There's no point having one without the other. Right. You've got to have trains if you're going to have people, and you got to have people if you're going to have trains. And these are some beautifully done figures. And a couple of the figures here are completely scratch. Oh, really? Yeah, go figure. A lot of these here, these are commercially available, but this is a scratch belt figure. Oh, my goodness. Oh, part of one of the family members here carves figures. And so these scenes here have been done by him, and uh, they're completely done by scratch. The figures are formed out of an epoxy and then very, very carefully hand painted. Right. Now, a lot of his figures are much larger in size. Exactly. And they're historical figures. 
But for me, the one of the great fascinations here is the painting because it's all hand painted with a brush. If you, right. If you take the time to, to blend the the uh, the paint while it's wet and you're painting it, acrylic paint will fuse together, and so it, some of the blending happens after it dries. It is just such spectacular painting, and I'm still having trouble believing that there's no airbrush involved here. Right, right. This is all paintbrush. Right. Well, at any rate, as we mentioned, there will be uh, one of our Tuesday shows on scales and gauges just addressing this, this uh, scale and gauge, Proto 48. Right. Very, very unusual, highly, highly accurate, and this absolutely spectacular railroad. We still have a few other railroads to look at at the Color Country Model Railroad Club Open House. Right. And uh, we'll be following up on those over the next couple of weeks. So if you're not a subscriber, you want to be a subscriber so you won't miss any of that. And the way to do that is with the upcoming blue button. Zoink! Right there. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Tuesday as we follow up with scales and gauges. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.